everybody, so here it is. It has been two-ish years now since we got the first teaser for the Total Drama Island reboot, but it's finally here. We finally have a real, official trailer. So today I'm going to be trying to analyze it as best as I can to hopefully get a good idea of where this future season is going. So let's watch it through one time first, and then we will try analyzing it some. All right, so that was the trailer. Um, obviously, this is in Italian, so we can't understand what they're saying, really. Uh, maybe there's Italian speakers out there who will be able to translate what they're saying, but let's just go through this little by little. So obviously, we have the island again. The island is back. It's great to see the island again. Let me go full zoom. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, so obviously, we have the island back again. It's great to see the island again. Looks like it's still pretty much intact. Uh, it does make me wonder if we're going to see Boney Island again. Um, I feel like we will. It feels like a staple at this point. I don't see why they wouldn't bring it back. We have the iconic uh, first challenge mountain here. Uh, everything looks to be intact, and I'm very curious to see what they decide to be the in-universe explanation for why the island's back, since apparently this does take place post or after the all the previous seasons so it'll be interesting to see how they explain um how the island is back in the shape that it is and seemingly unharmed at that so next up we have teams so this is the first team logo um if i had to guess this looks like a barracuda but um, so I guess I'll go out on a whim and say that this is the Brutal Barracudas. But Barracuda seems like a very wordy team name, I think. It's like, what have we had before? Well, I guess there's, uh, Team Chris is really, 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 really hot or something. Is it only four reallys? I don't care. <laughs> um, I'm just so excited. Okay, so this, um, maybe it's like the Vicious... I don't think it'd be salmon because they already did salmon for uh, Pakatu Island. So maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it is barracudas. Maybe it's the brutal barracudas or the vicious barracudas. He doesn't look happy here. So uh, so yeah, that's the first team. It's obviously red. You know, classic color for team colors in Total Drama. Uh, we get a look at some of the contestants that are going to be on this team. Um, I think we were already made aware of the teams at this point. So I think this top team is this Vicious Barracudas. Uh, this top team here seems to be the Brutal or Vicious Barracudas or what have you. So we got, uh, we have Z, we have Chase, we have Priya, we have Ripper, and we have Millie all in this screenshot. Um, it looks like Priya has a hair clip now. I don't think I noticed that before. Um, any other differences that I can explain? Uh, Z looks a little taller, I think. Maybe not. He might. He does look a little taller here, though. Um, nice to see good expressions again with Total Drama characters. I like. I don't know. I, I just like when Total Drama does expressions. They do a really good job of it. I hope. I hope it's on the same tier as World Tour was, because I always remember World Tour having the best character expressions of the series, and I wish they continued doing that, but maybe this time around they will. So uh, yeah, that's the Brutal Barracudas, or some of them. Then this other team is interesting, because it's obviously it's got a skull and crossbones, so uh, for whatever reason my first, first thought went to like a mutation or toxic theme but we already had that, so my mind went to, okay, the original name for the Toxic Rats, for those that don't know, the original name for the Toxic Rats was going to be the Radioactive Rats, and Total Drama Revenge of the Island had to be delayed to change it to Toxic Rats, because they wanted to not uh, be impartial to um, 
It was some radioactive uh, real-life event that had occurred at the time very recently, and they didn't want to come off as insensitive, so they decided to change it to, like, toxic or something like that, and that's why Revenge Yelling got pushed back a bit, release date-wise. Um, so, my original thought was radioactive frogs. However, this could also just be the deadly frogs. Um, as, you know, skull and crossbones, death, deadly, um... Yeah, and I don't know. It seems like a simple enough, but a uh, good enough name that it would be something a Total Drama team would actually have as a name for. Um, and then, of course, you have the green color. I love that we got the red and green colors back. It's always nice to see those. Any any season that has those uh, team colors is already good, in my opinion. And, of course, we get a good look at the uh, other team here. Uh, so let me recap on their names here. I don't quite know my heart yet. So from left to right, we have Nichelle. Uh, don't notice any design differences. With her. Uh, I think the like the colors in her hair look a little lighter. I guess her hair color might be just a tad lighter as well. That could also be the video quality itself. We have MK. Uh, yeah, she's cool. They they could probably still make her skin tone not uh, as yellow-ish. It's 2023. It feels weird that we still have characters that are designed that way. Especially when uh, even characters that we've previously had before, like Emma and Kitty, didn't really have uh, that problem to this degree. But I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's weird, but it's not it's not a make or break either. MK still has one of my favorite designs of the new characters. Um, so. uh, we have Bowie. Bowie, I don't... Uh, he's got sunglasses now. I noticed that. The pink's heart sunglasses? Maybe just pink, like, diamond sunglasses? I can't tell. They're definitely different. Um... Yeah, that's about all I can see there. Then, we have Emma. Uh, don't really notice much of a difference there. Yeah, she looks about the same. We have Caleb. Caleb, um... Looks about the same. You can see, like, his colored eyes a bit better. He's almost got, like, bluish, grayish type eyes. You might be able to see that here. I'm not sure. can't really tell there. Uh, it definitely looks like he doesn't have just black pupils, like a lot of the other characters. And then you have uh, Wayne and Raj. Um, they got their hockey hoodies. I think those are hockey hoodies. Definitely similar-ish design-wise, but different enough to be distinguished. Um, I never noticed before that Wayne has, like, little goatee hair here. It's different. And then we have uh, the last character, which is Julia. Julia is a little simple design-wise, but it looks it looks like an outfit you could see someone wearing in this day and age. Really, all these characters do. I think I think they did a good job at um, where's the there's the shot of all. Of them. Uh, I think they did a good job making this cast fit in alongside each other. I think they just all look really good together. Um, which isn't common. Like, it's not easy for a cast to look good alongside each other, especially when you uh, have total drama where the casts are this big. But I really like it. I really like it here. I think they've done a great job at uh, balancing out just um, how the cast looks alongside each other. So, not much to notice here. Uh, we get a little sneak peek of <laughs> why Ripper is called Ripper. I assume it's because he rips off his shirt a lot. Um, better than what the common consensus was, which is that he rips farts. Um, thankfully, it doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, I'm, I'm much more okay with this. I like the tan line. It's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. Could be endearing. I, I, I like his vibe already. 
Uh, we have this part here, which is very odd. I don't know what to make of this at all. Um... I don't know, it's- it's very odd, like, the missiles- I don't know what to make of the missiles. Yeah, I don't know what to make of these missiles at all. Like, I'm looking at them and I'm just... What are these even for? Like... It- it looks too different from the island to be part of a challenge or something, but... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, is Chris a wanted criminal at this point again? <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe the military's out looking for him or something, or trying to find where uh, Wabanakwa is. Maybe maybe he made an artificial Wabanakwa, kind of like the artificial island in Pakatu, and now the military's out looking for him or something crazy. Um, I don't know, I, I'd be okay with a B-plot of sorts like that. Uh, but other, but yeah, it's it's very hard for me to make guesses on what this could even mean. Um, I don't know, sometime, every once in a while I think Total Drama has, like, cutaway gag stuff, every once in a while, so it could be something like that, and they just used it for promotional material, but it's hard to say for sure, really. Uh, this, this definitely feels out of place, though, and feels like something they're bringing attention to, which makes me think it might be more than just a gag, but hard to say for sure. Uh, get a good look at more of the animation here. I assume this is from the first episode when Chris is introducing uh, the show again to the audience. Uh, I like I like how the animation is looking. Looks fluid. Looks like to Total Drama team knows what they're doing with Flash at this point, assuming this is still being made in Flash. I guess I'm not sure. Um, we have the group uh, here again. You can see more of the uh, few characters we didn't see before, those being uh, Damien, over here next to Millie. I'm really sure, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like more pink than dark red, so that, that could also have been a little change. Could also be the lighting of the TV, though, hard to say. There is a bit of a light reflection going on here. Uh, we also have the two standouts, I think, at this point, as far as the fan base goes, which are Axel, here on the far right, and we have Scary Girl on the far left. Uh, Scary Girl definitely seems to be a standout character in the fan base already, um, which is why I'm already assuming she'll go out very soon, <laughs> because Total Drama loves to kick off uh, fan favorites uh, very early if Revenge of the Island is any indication. Um, what else can I do for this? Uh, I like Chef's new outfit. I don't know if that's going to be a mainstay thing or if that's just for this scene, but I do like it. The purple looks good on him, and it may, and it kind of makes... It, it's nice to see a uh, prominent purple alongside the cast here. Uh, purple just... Purple seems to be a color that isn't super common in Total Drama, as far as I'm aware of. So it's nice to see it in a more mainstay way. Uh, and not just have it associated with, like, Max or something. And, yeah, that seems... That seems to be all we get from this teaser. Besides, uh... This final, this final little bit of text here. Um, I mean, I can make assumptions about what this says. I assume this says new series. I assume this is Total Drama Island. Uh... Prestige... Pastissimo is something I'm not quite sure of. Let's see. Prestissimo. Very soon. Okay, so it basically just says coming soon. Um, and we could already infer that. Uh, but yeah, this is awesome. Um, I guess final... I guess final note here, uh, this section here, the animation looks a lot more, like, fast. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it definitely looks more zippy. Like, it's noticeable. It's noticeably zippier. Uh, which is neat. I like that. Um, that's about all I can get from the trailer. I suppose I might as well go over, like, other screenshots that have come out for the show since the initial teaser. Uh, we have this picture of Scary Girl, who, um, you know, looks scary. 
Um, like I said, she definitely seems like she's going to be a standout fan favorite. I've seen pe some people try to predict that she's actually just Dawn in disguise. I don't see it. I think this is just her own character, and she... Um, Honestly, I think Total Drama likes to pay attention to how they design their characters, and I think Scary Girl is designed in such a way that, like, uh, she sort of is supposed to remind people of Dawn, in a way. Like, um, I've talked about this in my Pocketu Island video, but... But, um... You know, I've, I've talked before about how I think, uh, my... Dave, uh, visually, is meant to remind people of Mike, uh, because of how much they knew Mike was a fan favorite character, and it's supposed to give you an immediate attachment to him, as well as Noah, uh, Mike and Noah combined, I think, um, that's what I'm getting at, though, is I think Total Drama does make a point to sometimes design their characters in ways that, uh, make them more favorable right from the start. And Dave is a good example of that, due to his design sort of being a mix of Noah and Mike, who are both definitely fan-favorite characters. Uh, and I think that's uh, that combined with uh, him being the mo one of the more sensible characters from the start of Pocketo Island is why, um, why people tended to gravitate towards him from the start, uh, which, was, which was the point. I mean, that was, that was the goal of that, uh, and I think they did that well. But... I turned this into more Pocket Island movies. What I'm getting at, what I meant to get at, is Scary Girl looks cool, but she's not Dawn. This is a whole new character. I do not believe this character is Dawn in any capacity. Next character we have over here is MK. Um, I don't know. Uh, she does look better here, skin tone wise, so it could just be that uh, certain promo pictures aren't doing your favors, but it's an interesting picture. I don't know if. Um, I guess I can say first, the location is definitely, uh, that's the, the shed, or the boat sh shed, or shack, I don't remember the proper name for it, it's been so long, um, since we've seen it, but, yeah, this is definitely that, like, shed, shack place that they kept the boats and stuff that Duncan got put in for the night and basic straining and all that stuff. Um, why MK is here and why... She seems to have a bit of a more evil face here. I'm not sure. It's definitely interesting to note and keep in mind, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's cool, though. I like... It, it might be refreshing to see uh, MK take on a more antagonistic role. She doesn't uh, look like a traditional antagonist, and so that could be a nice change of pace. We have a picture here of the, gosh, the frogs, um, five of them it looks like. I don't see Caleb, Michelle, or Julia. Um, one could assume that it's because this is from later in the season and these are the only five left on this team. I am more of the opinion that uh, these... Um, that maybe this is just a night challenge and they got separated from them. That being said, if this is a night challenge, it would still be odd for it to be one of the first ones. So I think it is fair to assume that um, uh, Caleb, Nichelle, and Julia are definitely in danger of being eliminated uh, earlier than these five, just based on the screenshot alone. But again, they could have just uh, gotten separated or something of that sort. Uh, we have Ripper falling into some kind of pit. Again, you can see the uh, that Barracuda-esque logo on his helmet. Uh, I like I like when they do the team logo stuff like that. Uh, what he's falling into, who knows? But uh, definitely a different shirt here as well. I don't know if. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why he had a different shirt in the promo material. I didn't really make a note of that, did I? But yeah, he had like a green one. It's different. It's different. Uh, uh, then we got a couple more here. We have this one of Axel. Uh, this, uh, this 
looks like Boney Island, if I'm being honest. I don't know for sure, but it definitely looks like it. Um, uh, and, of course, Axel looks insane, and I love that um, uh, we were getting a new Total Drama season and the characters aren't losing their eccentricness. Um, like I've said before, I made a video a while back where I talked about how I love, I actually love Pocketo Island compared to most people, and one of the biggest reasons for that is due to how eccentric that cast is. It makes the viewing experience very enjoyable, even on rewatch for me personally. So it's nice to see that we're getting some characters here that are uh, sort of leaning into that, and it's also nice to see that the two characters that seem to be leaning into it the most, that being Scary Girl and Axel, also seem to be fan favorites at the moment. So it's nice to see that the fan base seems to be warming up to the more eccentric characters in Total Drama. I know they, I know the Total Drama fan base likes those kind of characters still, but it's nice to see that, um, it's nice to see it be more common, I guess is what I'm getting at. And it's nice to see that Total Drama didn't really back down from that direction either. It's nice to see that they're still kind of going the direction of Pakistu Island, just maybe a little more grounded this time as to not alienate their audience. And I think, uh, from what we can tell so far, I think they've struck a good balance of both. And that's one of the reasons I'm really excited for this season. Uh, we also have this picture of Damien fleeing a shark. Um, that's a lot of teeth. The shark design looks a tad different. I'm not sure if uh, maybe... Yeah, I don't know. The shark design definitely looks a bit different here, though, I will say. I don't know if... Let me be sure here. <laughs> I could be wrong, but... Um... I suppose it's not that different. It looks, it looks a bit bigger up top, I guess. It's got a more pronounced nose. It's definitely some design differences, but it's not that different either. The teeth definitely look similar now that I'm looking at it. Um, we have this picture of C and Chase clutching onto each other. Always nice to see characters doing that. It's fun. Um, and the last picture we have here is of the uh, frogs again. Looks like everyone except Caleb and Nichelle. Again, not a good look for Caleb and Nichelle specifically. Uh, definitely makes me a little worried about um, their status on the team. Because uh, that's, that's now two screenshots where those two characters have been absent from that team. And it definitely makes me think that um, there is some credibility to them being some of the first characters voted off. Which would be a shame because I do really like their designs and... Um, if that one promotional material is anything to go off of, Bowie seems to have a thing for Caleb, which could be nice to see uh, actually fleshed out to some extent. You know, it could be nice to see a relationship like that. So if Caleb gets eliminated early, that would be a real bummer, I think. Um, uh, there was one other thing I wanted to look at here. Let me check. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it. Um, so yeah, we finally have a proper Total Drama reboot teaser uh, trailer. Alongside all the promotional material and everything we've seen, I am personally very excited for this season, and I want to hear what you guys think of this season as well. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this season. Um, subscribe and like for more content. I definitely plan to make more content around this season, and I will most likely be making a video every time an episode releases and discussing it, reviewing it, that sort of thing. But um, until that happens, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.